This one's going to be on a script called iSet. It's uh, basically an interactive way to change your configurations within WeChat here. Uh, so basically it's a front end for the, the set command in uh, WeChat. Okay, So make sure you install it uh, either using wget or the script command that I talked about last time. And install this one. It's just called iSet.pl. Right. Let's go back to our console here. Now to start this up, you hit the slash iSet. And now you have a new buffer here. Um, not that hard to navigate. You can go up and down, right? Up and down to go between them, or page down, page up, whatever you want to use. Uh, they do have some other hotkeys over here. If you go to the side here, push uh, F10 to see more in the side, or F9 and go back and forth. All right. So the hotkeys in here. Um, out and space. This is to toggle boolean on and off. So right now is this one is string, but if it has like boolean or whatever, I think down here we have some booleans. There you go, some booleans here, right? Then that's how you would toggle it. You don't have to use that, but that's what they got. And this one out plus. Um, what is this for? Out plus or out minus. Uh, this one is to increase or decrease integers or colors. So you have some integers here and some colors here. Um, if all else fails, you can actually manually enter it in yourself. So you can use Alt and Enter, and uh, you can, you know, enter it manually yourself. So they do have some other hotkeys you can look up for yourself. Not really that hard. But let's say, for example, we'll change one of these suckers. All right. Um, this is the one I always change. What is this one here? Buffers. Uh, where the hell was that? One second. There you go. Buffers dot look uh, dot high merge buffers. I like to change this one because right now you see that number one here. I, I'm connected to a whole bunch of servers like Freenode and all these other servers. But it takes up a lot of space just for one. And these are my other channels here, right? And you see that this one is too fucking long. So with this field, you can actually change that. And the good thing about like going to different views or whatever, they tell you uh, what you can change. So right now it tells you, okay, this one does this, blah, blah, blah. And the default is, what's that, set to none here. But you can actually use uh, other values. So right now you can do like servers, channels, private, or whatever. So when you use the hotkey, like they uh, told us earlier, what was that? Alt plus, right, or Alt minus to uh, increase or decrease the value. So all I gotta do is hit out minus or something and then you can toggle between them, right? Look at that. And when you toggle between this field here, you can see that by default is none and none gives you all of this shit, right? If you uh, toggle between them, you see that now it just goes back to just one only. And that's what I like, it saves a lot of space here, right? So. That's what I like to do for that. And this thing right here, this is the, um, what was it called? This one's called the Buffers PL plugin, which I talked about a long time ago. So watch that if you need to learn that. But that's what we're using here. And uh, you see now it's nice and neat, uh, just one. And to toggle between that, because right now we have one, but if we have if we wanted to run commands on different servers, all you got to do is hit uh, Control X. And you switch between free node, spot chat, whatnet, you know, Thunder City, or whatever. So, control X is to toggle between them, right? Uh, let's go back to our field here. So, that's how you would do that, you know, just hit Alt and minus to go between that one. Or, like I said before, you want to do it manually, you hit Alt and enter. And basically, this one will use the old uh, set command. Right, and uh, it fills out, you know, the um, the fields that it wants to change. And right here, none, you can just change it yourself. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna delete this, and I just type in server or any of these uh, fields that they have us that we can assign to it. Then uh, you can just type that in there, push enter, and that's how you can manually do it yourself, just using uh, the Alt and Enter. Okay. So that's pretty much it. You want if you know any other. Um, settings in here that you want to change you can do that uh, you can actually filter it out too so let's say for example right now it's filtered to everything it has a little star here 
if you just want to search for uh, buffers only, you just type buffers, right? If you want to go back to all, you type in star, and you have everything. So let's see what else they have. Uh, like let's say for example, if you just want to type in uh, a spell only, it will just filter out those uh, settings for a spell, right? And if you want to see everything again, just hit star, push enter. So that's how you filter it, and then some hotkeys that you want to use. Uh, pretty easy because it has uh, you know all the information up top here that you can read through instead of like um, manually doing yourself from the text file or whatever. Anyways, that's I set for WeChat to change your configurations. That'll be it for this one.